It is collection day. It's finally here for our Tesla Model 3. You can see it over there in the background. Um, it's been a massive process getting this car after first going to the reveal in Fremont. Um, I really like the look of it. And then getting an extensive test drive in the States over a couple of thousand kilometers to Vegas. I decided it was time to buy it. My wife liked it as well. And uh, we settled on a white one with a white interior. So today I'm gonna to walk you through the order process for the car take you through the car that we've bought and also the litany of headaches we've had along the way just so you can learn from those uh, but before we go any further here is our car okay so here she is here we don't have a name for it yet uh, I think my wife wants to call it Tessie but we'll see about that <laughs> um, so it is a white Tesla Model 3 performance so the performance is the dual motor variant and it is the fast one now you'll note there the number plates these aren't going to mean anything to you potentially and I'm going to be running a competition. I'm a, an ambassador for Vic Roads and uh, the custom plates division and this is basically an American style plate. The competition we're going to run is for you to guess what the plates mean. So have a good look at them. It has something to do with it being an electric car. This is the interior. Now initially my wife sort of was completely against the white but I convinced her that in the States the white really worked well it was easy to keep clean we had it loaded with luggage and stuff and uh, just using your hand it was easy to keep clean that too many dramas central to the car is this giant screen in the center here uh, this is what makes this car so good it's a technological masterpiece i guess you could say so you're getting everything included there i'm going to run you through what the car actually comes with when you buy it and the premium connectivity package you can see there that there's nothing else really no speedo no nothing else um, and then you've got the back seats there as well, all in white there too. Now in terms of inclusions when you buy the car, it comes with a wall connector, so that's free of charge. We already have a wall connector at home from the iPace that we had. So that, that's already installed at home, we won't need to run that. But um, this will come with everything that, you, um, everything that you need if you do want to get a wall connector installed at home. Uh, so you can tell the performance apart with the carbon wing there on the back. Performance also gets the underline under the uh, dual motor there. You're also getting the red brakes. You can see those over here. So there it is there. One of the, one of the issues that we had along the way was the paint. So the reason the car was delayed was because of that. But I'll run you through that in a bit more detail yet. I just wanted to give you a quick look before we go for a drive and I give you the first impressions. Uh, so that is our new Tesla Model 3 performance. Let's go for a spin. Okay, so we have just driven out of Tesla. Um, let me run you through how everything went. So um, just to kick things off first, uh, I just wanna give you a quick look at how the car is delivered. So if I hit the Tesla button there, um, our car has 18 kilometers on the clock. For the first 50 or so kilometers, the car is calibrating all the autopilot sensors. So that's why you'll see their calibration in progress until the car is ready to go. Um, right, so like I said before, I saw the car in Fremont at its reveal. I was the only person from the Australian media there. Really exciting to be around all that. There's a lot of passionate people there at Tesla. Then after that, I had the chance to come back to the States to drive the car extensively from uh, Los Angeles to Las Vegas for SEMA and then back again. So it was a massive drive across the States to get a feel for uh, not only the infrastructure, but exactly how this car works in a, I guess an EV friendly state like uh, California. And it was amazing. So that's when we made the decision to buy it, my wife and I. Um, she trusted me knowing that EV, uh, you know, is the way that we wanted to go personally, but also trusted me knowing that the Model 3 was gonna be the car for us. Um, I had the chance to drive it when it came to Australia. She loved it, so we were settled on it. So went ahead, put our order down. This was in June sometime. So uh, we were told in June when we placed the order that we would expect the car to be delivered in August. So that was gonna work out fine because we had a Jaguar I-Pace at the time, another EV, and we thought that's fine. We'll hold on to this till August and then we'll jump into the Model 3 and take it away from there. So we uh, handed the I-Pace back to Jaguar at the end of August. It was a long-term loan car. September came, nothing about the car. Uh, October came, 
nothing about the car, November, still nothing. So around the, the end of uh, June, we switched the car from our current design, which was a midnight silver one with black interior, to this one, which is the white and white, same that we had in the States. So that obviously led to the design being uh, delayed, which was fine with us, we had no dramas with that. But there was never any of that information shown to anyone. So we had no idea that this was going to cause such a big delay. And what ended up happening was, it's now November was it the 29th, and we just picked up our car now. During that time, I sort of actively was on Twitter letting people know about how much of a pain in the ass this has been with, without a car. I mean, we had to rent a car in between and all this sort of stuff. Um, and then you get all the Tesla fans who think that you're, you're having a dig at the brand, when in actual fact, this is just poor customer service. I mean, if you're told the car's gonna be ready in August and it's not till November, what do you expect? I mean, it's it's my money, I'm giving it over because I want the car, but equally, I expect to be treated properly. So, look, at the end of the day, the people that we dealt with at Tesla were fantastic, and it seems that they are simply just not capable of dealing with that volume of orders, and it seems like there's this huge rush to meet quarterly delivery deadlines, but I don't actually think about the customers who are putting their money into the brand. Let's talk about first impressions. Yeah, absolutely loving it. So I went over the car with a fine tooth comb. The other reason it was delayed by another week was because they discovered paint defects. I mean, seriously, it's a brand new car. How does it have paint defects? So the car had to be taken away and parts of it had to be fixed. Um, I mean, I've had a proper look over the car and, and it all seems to be perfectly fine, but obviously I'm no paint expert. Um, my understanding is they do have some paint issues. None of the uh, media cars that we tested really had any paint dramas, so they've ever been fixed or, or just didn't have any issues to begin with. Um, so look, I'm glad that this is now in tip-top shape and ready to go. Uh, but in terms of first impressions, it's great. The delivery process was excellent, so we'll walk through the car. Even for me, someone that's you know, kind of a bit intimate with the car, I still want to know what it's like for a customer, so we paired it to our phone. The phone app is fantastic, it's easy to use. I'll be pairing it to my wife's phone later on as well. So, look, this is going to be our family car. It'll be predominantly my wife driving it. Um, she's now used to EVs, which is good. And look, we're just, just excited to to have a car to call our own. You know, I took delivery of the Supra, been driving that around a fair bit and absolutely loving it, but it will be good to have a family car. My wife is too scared to drive the Supra, so it's kind of just been me driving it really. Um, but yeah, really excited for this and uh, I'm hoping it all goes well. I'll bring you further video updates. Uh, I mentioned there as well that um, the number plates on this car are interesting because P-E-V-I, um, a lot of people think that EV has something to do with an electric car, but it doesn't. We're going to be running a competition, and depending on when you see this video, if you just head to my social media, you'll see the details of the competition there. You'll be able to enter. We'll have some prizes to give away if you can guess what it means. But just think of it in the context of an electric car. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, you can catch me on Instagram, Facebook, and uh, Twitter. Very keen to see your thoughts uh, on the Tesla Model 3. If you've driven one, what did you think of it? And uh, I'm looking forward to bringing you more updates uh, as we spend more time with this car. So thank you for watching, and if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below, and I will do my best to answer them.